he's kind of an all-present artist when I grew up. His images were in the school books and postcards and it was, was kind of every, everywhere. But then I saw him when I was a teenager, like 16, 17 or something. And it really made an impression on me. I think it was, you know, like, like it can do in that age. Like it, you know, it was a question of life and death and it, and it, was, it was about me and it was about every, everything, you know, concentrated in those images. The writer Karl Ove Nauskal appreciates the artist Edvard Munch as perhaps only another Norwegian would. He's written a book about him. This is the British Museum's new exhibition on Munch, Love and Angst, including a version of his most famous work. We can't entirely escape the scream, and you say we now live in scream time. What do you mean by that? I think he was filled with emotions and filled with anxieties and, 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 and had experiences that he wanted to express. And I think in, in the existing pictorial language that, that was around him, there was no way to express it. I mean, all the paintings were kind of glossy and national romantic or, or very realistic. And he wanted to express something of his inner self, I think. And, and that scream is, you know, it's like a... His, He's, he's breaking through there and it is an instant to it that at that time was, was, was new. But for us, that's, that's our world, that's, we live in that world. We, there is an emotion, there is something happening. Immediately we, we, we get to know it and immediately we feel something in relation to it. There's no, there's no space between us and, and what's going on. When Newsnight first met Nauskal, five years ago in Scandinavia, he was about to become internationally famous with six volumes of barely fictionalized autobiography, My Struggle. They've been widely translated and praised, but some still haven't forgiven him unsparing revelations such as his father's death through alcoholism. They were so hard to write and I'm happy I managed to do it, and then, yeah, then there were some um, uh, other things surrounding the books that was uh, that was very difficult. Um, yes, I mean a lot of people were upset. Well, yeah, yeah, people still, close to you and others. Yeah, yeah, and they still are upset. But I, but I do think, uh, I do think, you know, that what I did isn't. Um, I, I can't justify it. I think. And I, I still am incredibly insecure about myself and about my writing. And it's like, it hasn't changed anything. Uh, the thing it has changed is that now I, there is a certain expectation to what I'm doing. So I feel like I have to live up to something, which is death for an artist, uh, which is what I'm trying to you know, get rid of and, and to be able just to sit and write. It had never struck me before that one could actually buy a picture of Munk. This one costs roughly the same as a six or seven year old Volkswagen Golf. The portrait was very simple. It seemed almost to have been drawn with a single line. And it was beautiful. I thought, damn it, I'll place a bid. Then I thought, come on, Munk on the wall, what kind of people have that? Which people? who have either inherited the picture or bought it as a status symbol. The writer now lives in South London with his new wife and a household of seven children. He's picked quite the moment to settle in the UK. It's very different from Scandinavia. It's much more different than I, than I, than I thought before I came, I think. Uh, but still, it is... Uh, and, and but what's going on with Brexit? It's you know I have nothing to add to what's oh, already come been on said. Now. You, you know. No, you can't sit this one out. I don't understand. I really don't understand why what it is to be gained to leave. It's it's like it's a it's like a, a country panicking and 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 in panic you see something else than you normally see and you normally think. So it's it's, it's like it's slightly out of control which is very interesting to see what comes up. And it's like it comes up something from the depths of, of, of a nation, really. 
so in one way, it, I'm sure it is healthy and I'm sure it's good in the long term because so much is visible now. To have this debate, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There was no way I could hang a picture of Munch on my wall. But oh, how beautiful it was. And it was alive. After more than a hundred years, a gaze was still alive. Buying this picture, wasn't that actually a way of not giving a damn? Yes, it was. That would make me someone who didn't give a damn about anything. It felt good.